How's it going, fellas? My name is Zoros, and this is another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Or should I say, Ahoy there, mateys. Check me out, I look like a goddamn pirate, and this is awesome. I think it's the fucking coolest outfit I made so far. Maybe except that Revolver Ocelot one. And that one I did at the beginning, where I just kind of made it up my, myself. I mean, this one is made up myself. I look so fucking sick. By the way, last episode we had $300. And a really bad reputation. And now for some reason my reputation is back to being regular. I don't know what I did. I just like... Went shopping. Upgraded a bunch of shit. And all of a sudden it's back to... This. I don't know what I did. Maybe it's like a story part where it like goes back to normal or something. Either way, I got only thousand dollars left. But check out my fucking guns, mate. Check this shit out. They look so... Badass right now. I think this is the coolest fucking design I went with so far. Golden and black. It's so fucking sick. I fucking love this. Check out my fucking double barrel shotgun. Also looks sick as all fuck. God damn, this is beautiful. Pieces of art I have in my equipment, I tell you what. Got a knife too? Oh yeah, I can't expect a knife. But it looks cool. Wait. There we go. It's fucking golden. Golg. Golden knife Sick, but since I'm a pirate I believe I should be carrying a pirate sword, right? Wait, where the fuck do I even have that? That's it. Do I have a pirate sword? Ah, oh, there you go I'm a pirate the Fuck he said to me Sea sea dog never mind. I'm in this stupid town, which I don't think you like this like Only a couple of missions where you actually have to go to Van Horn but there's a side mission which I find pretty interesting. An interesting thing about the side mission is that it's actual mission cut from Red Dead 1. It was supposed to be in Red Dead 1, but then it got... Uh, but then they put it in this way. Wait, before I fucking do anything, there's, like a we there's always this weird reward poster over here. Let me see this. See, it's like rescuing some little girl or something. Oh, reward of on the 15th anniversary of the disappearance of Princess. Okay, Grand Ducky blah 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 is offering a reward hundred dollars. Fifteen. Put away this shit. What you talking about? Mislead. Yeah, head to the water. Head to the ocean. Look, I gained some minus points. Oh, by the way, I killed my horse last episode, remember? Oh. I forgot, I didn't introduce you to my new horse. Nah. Let's check it out. What's all, what's going on over here? Hello? What's going on? Can I greet them? So this is a cool mission to be honest, it's really interesting. Saving people, taking them to your breast, and metaphorically I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Oh no, I never did. Man, this outfit would really fit on these Caribbean missions. I look so sick, I look so fucking amazing and sick. Beautiful. Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's That's gone why I made my long. beard so so my long. Tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he. Fuck it, he. Good lord, he just. He acts like a monster. Why the hell did I get myself involved in this? In a fight against a freak. Can't blame him. Ouch! Oh god. Fuck, how do I fight in this game? I forgot. How do I fucking. Oh, square. I was pressing triangle. Damn, Bertram's good at fighting. He's way taller than me, shit. It's not fair. I don't know why she's so okay with me beating the shit out of him. He's big, he can take that. What more can brain damage do to him? He's missing like chunk of brain. Come here, 
Bertram. Oh, you moron. He has a funny haircut. Oh, yes. I feel bad about beating him up. You should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, oh no one Why the fuck are people hanging out to you, to you anyway? No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more Magnifico, than a promise. Magnifico, that's an interesting name. He broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you dare. So where did all the blood from his face go to her shirt? Help, did you clean them? Stranger. I don't know. I didn't notice. Did you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there? Would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. <laughs> Definitely will know where I, when I see him. Oh, uh, you know what? Also, I was keeping in my equipment just for the occasion to do it as a pirate. Wait, hold on. Give me the hat. Howdy, you fucking whore. Give me my hat. Check this shit out. I was keeping this specifically in my equipment for so long, just to do it when I look like a pirate. Where is it? Do I still have it? Aged pirate rum. Oh, now I can taste the sea. Oh, Arthur, you don't you don't sound too good. There's plenty of other designs I want to do with guns in this game, where like put different colors and, and patterns on them. But it's just that it's so expensive to change their colors and shit that it's kind of not worth. Like the golden one was the most expensive because the golden color just cost a lot. Anyway, there were some more things I wanted to do. What is some fucking Eastern European accent for a second? Uh, there's a uh, yeah, I marked a bunch of other shit on the map. Uh, this is like Easter egg. I think this is a um, marking for for quite an expensive object. Just to keep it in mind, there's this place where Marco Dragic hangs out in, and I think we might hang out with him in the next episode honestly the next episode i'm gonna record after a while because i'm only making this episode because i ran out of i need one more episode for the next week so so yeah okay we're gonna do this check out what the fuck he's doing go and visit magnifico which thank you mission description you already spoiled who he is a midget and there's like a marker over here Bunch of shit around there. I don't know what it even is. It's been a while since I fucking played this game, and an even longer while since I marked those things. I think this is where UFO appears. Okay, we're gonna go to this marker on the map right now. So I realize I can make my make my map larger, which I don't think gives you any bonuses. It just kind of looks nice. It looks more clear, you know. You can see more detail on it. And the how do you change it back? Regular. See, it's like regular. You only see like a little bit, but when it expands, you can see quite a lot. Fuck, I'm confusing controls like crazy. The screen was still blurry. Spirit rum is stronger than I thought. So this is Ludmila. That's my new horse. I apparently always had this horse saved in my stable. I just didn't. Didn't fucking know about it. Okay, what did I marked over here on the map? Pick up and examine. What? No, definitely didn't mark the plant. God damn it! Why did I drink that pirate rum? I can't see anything now. There was something here. I, I bet I just didn't mark it. Uh, 
accurately. There was like supposed to be some kind of dead guy around here. That was uh, an interesting thing about him. Fuck, well, quit with this stupid effect on the screen. I can't see anything. You would see the way I'm holding the fucking controller right now. Just to like run around and also rotate the camera with the same fucking hand. I do this like weird claw thing. Where is it? There was supposed to be a dead body on the shore over here. Or was it here? Fuck, I don't know. Was it here or was it on one of those rocks in front of me? Uh, the effect went away, but I still don't see it. So what's wrong with the water? Now for real, I don't see shit. Maybe it's on these rocks. Eh, I don't see it. I don't know, am I stupid? Do you guys see it? That's a rock, right? Fuck, whatever. Oh, by the way, speaking of those pistols... Speaking of those pistols, I wasn't speaking about them. But I was mentioning them before. Well, those pistols, I, I think those are my favorite weapons in this whole game. I think they're fucking awesome. There's another pistol in the game, which is like more expensive, and I think you get it a little later. If not, not at all. But uh, the thing about that pistol is that it just doesn't look as cool. I mean, this pistol kind of looks like it's a revolver anyway. Okay, screw this whatever I marked over here on the map. Let's let's go and find the midget. That's what my, that's my specialty. Midgets. Midget hunter. I hunt midgets. What's this house about? Looks looks interesting. Should we check it out? Why not? Excuse me. Whoever this is a nice house. Hello. Seems abandoned. Why are you sneaking around? Arthur, it's not like I broke in, I just wanted to say hello. Yeah, this house is abandoned. Unless it's not. Which is quite possible. Uh, he's still alive. See? Is he still alive? Yeah, they're still alive. What the fuck? Hello. I bet I'll take the money and they will, he will attack me. What the hell? Shh, shh. Oh, hell. Oh no. I mean, I should have known. I kind of predicted that this will happen. Why did they took out my shotgun? I wanted to shoot them with a pistol, for fuck's sake. Why is this game always changing my weapons at the most inconvenient moments? Could have fucking shot them and then, then take the money. I just wanted to make sure. This isn't some kind of glitch, but they are actually alive. How much money you guys had? Eh, fifty dollars, that ain't bad. That ain't bad for this game. In this game you don't really... I don't know how many places there are where you get to like, actually find like a lot of money. Not too many, to be honest. To be honest, the only like, real huge source of income in this game is the the heist mission with Bill when you're in your second camp there's this mission with a heist which I guess if you've watched my other videos you should have remember but if you didn't then I don't know go and do that this will be a good idea right I don't know and that mission gives you like what two thousand dollars alone 
Which is kind of dumb because, well, it's nice that you actually have a source of income, but source of a lot of money where you can actually fucking spend on something expensive and nice. But, like, in the game story, we just keep saying that we have to get money. And then Bill, like, robs a bank in Valentine and we get shit on the money and no trouble for it. Then it's kind of dumb that the Dutch just keeps saying that we need to rob a bank in Saint Denis. I mean, the Saint Denis robbery was less profitable than the one in Valentine. Because we basically didn't gain shit. So that's kind of stupid. I guess, right? Yeah, I would say it's dumb. I wonder how this mission would look if it was actually implemented in the first Red Dead. Would it look better? Would it look worse? Is that a fake farm? What is this? I know, I always like to check out those like random houses in the middle of nowhere because they're kind of interesting places. Okay, we gotta look for Magnifico. Right? I can see his camp. I'm a wet cowboy. Pirate, sorry, I'm a pirate. I forgot. It's a really nice fucking coat I have. There he is, sleeping. It's kind of convenient for a midget, like, he doesn't have to have a huge camp. He just draw and stuff. If you say so. Are you Magnifico by any chance? Oh, he has like smoke bombs. She's a witch! She's a witch! Who? Presta! Well, cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't you? No, that's not She's it. a nah. succubus. She's a succubus. <laughs> stay away from me. <sighs> I remember succubuses were fucking demons in Persona 5. Oh no, in Persona overall. But succubuses were like demons in European mythology. I don't know like which part of Europe, like Slavic mythology or whatever. Wait, I gotta run over the river. Ain't really wise to keep throwing smoke bombs to alarm where you are. How the fuck is he teleporting? Now that's just ridiculous. I like these pretty colors. It would be cool if you could get like those smoke bombs if you like beat this mission. I always like getting some kind of rare weapon in a game. And like trying to kill every like important character with it. I remember that in GTA 5 you had this musket you could get. But he's on top of a tree. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Fuck, is on top of a tree? Where is the fuck? Oh, he was there. I fucking saw him. He teleported again. Well, you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. Don't make me shoot you. Hey, hold on there. Stick a dynamite. Long, dummy. Where are you? That's ridiculous. You can't do that. You little midget. Merry midgets, come on. It's gonna probably fly through the train. I'm starting to think this guy is actually using magic. What would be if like Rockstar made like a fantasy game? 
Now, like in medi like more medieval times with magic and shit, something like Witcher, Skyrim, or Gothic. Or two worlds. Ah, two worlds sucks. Apparently, this, they're developing two worlds free. Like, who the fuck wanted the third one? The first one was a piece of shit. The second one was a little bit less of a piece of shit, but still a piece of shit. And then the third one, what? Will be the actual good one? You dim it. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, dummy. Go on, clear off. Why do midgets have such short temper? Short. Food and I'm out of ideas. Like every time. For the bears, that won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed your brother. So you are gonna be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Ah, oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. <laughs> We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And who's she? Is she, does she know like some tricks? Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to mama. Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Aww. don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here. No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Will I get paid for this? Half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? So nice. Look, a rabbit. That was pretty, pretty interesting, I gotta say. With my horse. Is my horse also a master of disguise? Oh. We couldn't see him in that bush. Okay, let's... Oh, shit, my neck. Oh, snapped. Oh, my fucking God. It hurts. Oh, fuck. What is this? What is this? Is this? I don't know. Let's go check it out. I don't remember when I marked those things, but I just basically watched a bunch of videos about like easter eggs, unique items, interesting locations. And I just marked every single one of them that was like nearby the area where, where we will be hanging out for the most part. And I was hoping that... That we're gonna, you know... Check them out and maybe there's like a bunch of locations with some expensive items that I could sell later and just get some profit. Also, what I meant to say, oh, I wanted to make one more gun design, but I don't know if will I be able to afford this. I wanted to go with like blue metal and like golden, golden like drawings. Okay, what the fuck is this? It's a boathouse. Now that's actually really cool. Those boat houses are always really nice. Like they're so small and stuff, but it's like really cozy in here, don't you think? I find it to be quite like relaxing to live in a place like that. And yeah, so the secret is this thing. The device. That plays music, it's a phonograph. I drew it in yellow, what the fuck? Well, now I have a yellow pencil, what is this? I got cigarettes, but I can't pick them up. I wonder in online, could you possibly like... Because like, I remember something about like people finding weird spaces throughout the map, which people suspected will be related to like buying yourself a house with a fucking enemy over there. I don't know, I saw a red dot on the screen. Thought it was some sort of enemy. Nah, I hate I can't just assign myself to like always pick up. Take out two guns at once. Yeah, so I guess we can mark this off the map. There we go, there's something over here. Over here I marked, but this is a little too far, I don't give a shit. To go that far off my way so let's go to Sadie 
and I suppose bust out John out of prison, which is really stupid, and I will explain you later why. Well, do you remember how the Red Dead one begun? It begun with John on a train going to Blackwater and being assigned a mission to hunt down his former gang members, which he attempts to. Yeah, get the fuck out of my way. Which he attempts to by attacking Bill in his fort, which that doesn't end up really good, and he gets he gets shot. And the thing about it. That's I that I find stupid is that obviously he was you know busted he was taken out of prison under circumstance that he will hunt down his gang members. So so when he went to prison in this game that was alright because that explained how John end up in prison that he got ta that he got moved out of in the first game. But since we're busting him out of prison ourselves, that's a little stupid and inconsistent with the original game, which I already mentioned that this game does kind of a poor job at connecting with the first game. Don't give me this gun, you son of a bastard. I don't want this piece of shit. Get the fuck out of my fucking equipment. You bastard, I don't want it. Now go away and put it in my equipment. I want the pirate sword, I'm a pirate. What's gonna be valid? I insist. Ahoy there. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Taylor was. She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Oh look, I'm a pirate. I'm a sailing a boat with my ship. Right. You're or a pilot, life for me. This is the best fucking outfit for Arthur, a pirate one. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. You can do some cool things to your beard, but I, I didn't do anything fancy. I made my mustache a little bit less like bushy and made it more like stylish, but you can't really see it because you can't see those like okay. curved ends of my mustache at the end because they're covered by the rest of my beard. And also like my, the piece, the part on the chin is like separated, like it separates. God damn it, they still gave me that fucking gun. Piece of shit, I'm gonna use double pistols. Okay. Also, yeah, I turned every gun golden, just so you know. It's probably why I fucking took the thousand dollars. I don't have much ammo for these pistols. Oh, shit. Kinda suck. I didn't realize I don't have much ammo for those pistols. Just so you know, before this episode began, when I was just traveling to that town, I, what happened is that I got attacked by some Skinner bro- no wait, not Skinner brothers. Those crazy rednecks. Okay, nice. Pirate sword. Stealth kill with a pirate sword. Oh shit, that was badass. I want hell of a pirate. I like how they actually let me keep the fucking sword for once. Shame it's not on my model, it, like, All as right. soon as Archer puts it away, it just disappears. Look, a flying gun. Is it a flying gun, or is it, like, meant to be stuck in the ground? I, I think it was actually glitching. A pirate life for me. Grab that rifle. You can use the scope. Shut up. I have to. Screw you, I'm gonna change it for this gun. Okay, which one's John? There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see Is that him? two guards. Okay, take them out and let's go get our boy. Okay, which one's John? I want to kill him. 
How the fuck I do that? Every single time I'm trying to aim and I just like miss. Oh. If I just kind of pointlessly killed everybody, come on. Fucking golden guns, give me that shit. If you had a choice between a normal gun and a bloody golden gun, which one would you pick? I'll pick the normal one because I ain't about gold, but I thought gold would kind of fit my pirate personality now. I'm a really successful pirate, I can afford to have golden weapons. A pirate life for me, let's on, go! Let's keep moving. Where is Something's See not gonna happen as no. a cutscene. You, mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put oh God. the gun down, lady. She ain't a lady. No. She's a mistress of... You put the gun destruction. Down. Now. I'm so badass. Golden guns and the pirate. Look at me, I look like a fucking... Like this is the original design of Arthur. If he was a pirate. in the work detail today. I'm not even choking you, I'm just holding you by the shoulders. Anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Oh no, you don't. Shoot him. Can't even fucking shoot. Come on, partner. <laughs> why don't you apologize partner? to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. No Very nice of you. So, where do we go? Where are they running? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Well, it Jameson. seems like not only I free no. John in this mission, Heston. everyone, I, I just free everybody that was working in the fields. Uh, so what the fuck are they farming over here? Boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're, they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. I think there's like one uh, unique weapon in the game, but you have to unlock new Austin to get there. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Yeah, would they well, miss you? To find out. Cause if they would miss, wouldn't miss you, and they would shoot you. To shoot me through you, that kind of sucks. So was that our plan, just to capture one of the guards and escort them like that? That's kind of a shitty plan. Have they just like rode it on a fucking knee or a fucking coffee break or something? Come on, it's really lame. I feel like they could incorporate busting John out of prison, but then they would mean. That he somehow ended up in prison again. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn gun. Okay, now someone join, please. Please, can you do that? That'd be really nice. It's Jameson in. He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him unless you bring me John. Right now. Come on, bring me, um, bring me that son of a bitch. I miss it. Two, three. Uh, uh, Milliken, <laughs> is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me. I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> do you know who's count? Oh, sir? very funny. You know, we must be at eleven by now. Eleven. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, he doesn't know past 18. Shot out. Number one. For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Nobody will die. Hey. Just tell me what's past 18, alright? Oh, hello, John. Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Go, they were going to hang him, right? Oh shit, run. 
black. Let's get the fuck out of here. What am I supposed to actually fight these guys? I mean, they, they're still there. Gotta move on. That was a good shot. See, like the further away from enemies I am, I always get more accurate. She okay, never mind, I'm running. You know what, I have this. So quit shaking, I can't aim. I really hate this fucking shaking mechanic. Okay, Did you hear that there's like a rumor that Red Dead 2 is coming on PCs? Well, the thing is... It possibly will be a Epic Store exclusive. Which kind of makes me appreciate that. Thank God I'm a fucking console gamer. Because right now, PCs are kind of divided between Steam. The definitive platform. And Epic Games, which is a piece of shit spyware, and and nobody likes it, but they keep buying their way to the market because just like Steam does nothing about it too. That that's what pisses me off the most. Don't get me wrong with this joke about Steam the definitive platform, but still I prefer Steam over any other fucking launcher piece of shit. They're all kind of shit. Oh crap! I run out of ammo. I guess that's the fault when you use two guns at once. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Ouch! Maybe using those pistols wasn't so wise. After all. Oh shit, oh come on, a headshot! Right in the head. And John ran over my dead body, that's how much he respects me, god fucking... Damn it, you asshole, John. Okay. I'm really here? What am I supposed to do? Come on, I want a dual wheel gun. It's badass. Oh, I know why I'm wasting so much ammo. I was missing so much. Get the fuck out of here. It's funny because the camera doesn't move as fast as it should. Oh, nice, 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 nice decision, Archer. Come on! That's not even what I'm telling you to do. Come on, why are you. Is that because there's a pot in the way or a barrel, whatever the fuck this thing is? I wonder was one of these guys, Milliken. Kind of became like that guy. Can I please? There you go, that's all I wanted. Okay, wait for me. We canceled my reload animation just because it started running. I wonder I was missing so much from so fucking difficult to aim. Whoa, that was a sick camera angle. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here before I get another headshot. Dying guys, help! Why am I doing so bad? I swear to God, it's not even like I'm fucking shit. God damn it! It ain't like I'm some sort of like, oh, it's, you're under level, go fucking farm experience, you bitch! Come on, look at me, I'm fucking badass as shit. I'm gonna kill Milliken. 
just because I'm a dick. Oh, I actually got bad points for killing Milliken. Come on, you bitch. Cared about his well being. Couldn't even pass, count past 18. No need for people like that. Come on, I'm only using one gun. I didn't upgrade it specifically to of the same weapon, the same way, just to now fucking use one of them. Oh, I'm out of here, fuck this shit. Take out another gun. I told you like when I was playing as a revolver officer and I was purposely doing the dual wield thing. Just to, you know, be the revolver ocelot persona. But the thing about it was that I, I don't think I like dual wielding in this game. It's kind of makes you more shitty. Actually, you know what? I was I was doing pretty good with this fucking shit. Just going headshots after headshots. I feel like it's actually easier to just like aim yourself at enemies instead of like going to the slow mo mode. And like this game has a really complicated shooting mechanic or something. It's just like aim, shoot. Like a little detail that like with revolvers you also have to like pull back the hammer. How can I miss people that are so close? There we go, last bullet, last kill. Oh, please don't kill me this time. I'm really trying my best here and I keep getting shot in the head. In the back of my head. Come on, John, do a little fucking better. Sons of bitches. The shotgun I have ain't even that good. How are we gonna flee on the boat fast enough for them not to shoot us down and just drown? Me shoot? Definitely a better shot. And <laughs> John, you're such a moron. I hate you, John. You're a subhuman. Burn in hell. You really are happy to see John. It's like real friendship, you know? You don't call your best friends friends. You call them pieces of shit. At least I said that with my friends. I don't know. Maybe I just was friends with huge assholes. I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. <sighs> Hey, Couldn't Arthur. even get on the horse. Thank you. Don't mention it. I love you too. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's, let's get, get the fuck out of here. Out of here. Get wind of this. Let's get out of here. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's, She's dead, John. Is too. Jack she burned in the building. Hosea. Hosea. That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. Are we driving are we like, riding back to the camp? Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. Lenny. He didn't even have a cutscene. He kind of died in like the middle of the action. What about the the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. The only way out of there. The boat went and down the, in a storm and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's Which a fucking long way are you storm, going, Sadie? But things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. Things the went south real bad. Near Rono Grids and some caves there. Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, 
Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And yeah, John, we're gonna shoot you tomorrow Just anyway. You. Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they I mean, me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. I don't know, like, I kind of want to understand Dutch be because he's in a lot of stress, so he, you know, even, like, saw John being no taken more. by the Pinkertons, but, like, yes, maybe he just not. didn't know what the fuck to do. He was stunned. He froze for a second, you know? Maybe he was just shocked that John got taken away. But, yeah, what do you guys think about the theory that this uh, insanity of Dutch like broke after the trolley mission because he hit his head and at the moment where he went insane kind of I mean there was this one mission where he was just sitting on a fucking patio and just kind of playing a chess game inside his head he brought him back to me we told you we would John! you what son of a bitch Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. I'm independent I pirate now. I felt different. Is that so? Yeah, I look more fancy than Dutch does. Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty. Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. You are my mother. For you. you are my they, lover. They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They're always just was talking. talking. And Micah always being by the now side of Dutch. Mm, a bad influence for him, maybe. Cause Micah's kind of a dick. Even though I kind of like him because they like dick characters. But like when they're kind of like justified dicks. Look, I'm still a bad person. I get wolves instead of deers. So that means I'm an evil person, right? Look, a wolf. He's so cute. So cute. It's a little doggo. What the fuck is this hat? Arthur, please, I beg you. Pirate outfit, man. Arthur. That's what you gotta do. Oh, Mary Beth, what's up? I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Paradise. I tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Oh. Thanks, Mary Beth. It all went to shit. And all those female characters in our camp, like Mary Beth, that other one, that, like only Sadie seems like really significant to the story. The rest of them are like side characters. Like if we didn't help them at all, it won't really change the story that much. I'm gonna change my fucking hat. What's up? Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems to have lost his mind. out of his mind. I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I, I have you as a friend. Oh, that's so cute. What happened? Turn up. He's been gone a while. Oh, the dog we had. He's probably dead. He's probably eaten by the local rednecks. Anyway, see you guys later in the next episode. Bye.